Hello, hello, and welcome back to Mode 7, the show where we play games and talk about them. I'm your host, Serge Man X, and joining me today is Monkey Man. Yo, Monkey Man, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Serge? Really glad we're reviewing this game today. We had a great game last week, and uh, there's uh, another one that I'm curious to hear your thoughts about. Yeah, so what are we what are we playing today? So today it's Ninja 5.0 for the Game Boy Advance. So do you want to... This is a game that I got you to play. It was my recommendation. I believe this was your first time playing it, right? What were your first impressions on this game? Uh, yes, it was. So Ninja 5.0 for the GBA, more like Ninja 5. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Really? I absolutely hated this game. What? <laughs> it was, I didn't like the graphics were... Um, not that great, even oh. for, like, a GBA title. Okay, okay, you know what? I said I don't like the graphics in Bloom Kit, and you gave me a real hard time about it, saying it's Game Boy, what do you expect, or whatever the heck system that well, was. Well, no, because <laughs> because Bloom Kid graphically compared to other Game Boy games were about on par with each other. Ninja 5.0's graphics, they don't even look, like, good in comparison to other GBA games. Okay, all right, fair enough. So you didn't like the graphics. Um, <laughs> what? I just didn't. I don't like. I don't like objective base. Uh, stuff in my two D platformers. I rather just go to from point A to point B, and oh, I have to go through these levels and and rescue the hostages. I don't care about the hostages. I have to go now explore these levels <laughs> and find these hostages. <laughs> And then if you, like, accidentally mess up on your ninja star and you hit them, like, oh, well, they died. You know? Like, I just wanted to go through the level, <laughs> yeah. and that was it. From start to finish, fight some enemies in between, it, and that's it. Oh, man. That's so disappointing. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, man. Well, I suppose that's revenge for all the bad games you had me play. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> well, Bloom Kid, that game sucked. Legacy of Goku. You ended up liking the game. Yeah, I. you know, and honestly, I, I end up liking all of them. I end up liking Legacy of Goku. Um, I didn't really like Gex. That one just... Yeah, that one didn't even grow no, on I, me. That, that, that's fine. Yeah. That's fair. Um, yeah, I don't know. I suppose that's it. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of them, they, they grow on me. So, yeah, it's cool. So... You know, I, these are my impressions. What were your impressions of the game? My first impressions, I thought it was really cool. It it kind of reminded me of, I think it's called Karate Kid for NES. And, um, you know, it's just like, I, I like simple games. So it's just really simple how you just go through the levels, but there are some things to collect. I like how you could upgrade um, the, maybe it's called a shuriken. I don't know, like the, the, the star that you throw. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Things like that. The health is abundant. Um, my first impression, the most difficult thing at first was like trying to swing on the chain. Like I could not figure that out. I had like the hardest time trying to figure that out. But then after I learned it, I was like, oh, okay, I get this, this is pretty cool. Yeah. The chain was a little, uh, a little wonky. Yeah, yeah, it sure was. Um, but then after messing around with it, you, you, you get used to yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I see what you mean about, like, the linear game type. But for me, like, you know, that surprised me, too, because, like, Kirby is, like, at least, like, the Amazing Mirror. Um, there's so many doors and ins and outs that is totally not linear. It's like a like a rat's nest. Um, but, I mean, yeah. this one, it only had, like, a few doors that you would go through. Like, you could only go through one door. And one door would take you to one new area. It wasn't like you could go into one door, which goes to a new area, and that new area has three different doors as well. So, like, it wasn't advanced. It didn't go very deep. It's like stage one had three different doors, and, like, they all only come back to the original stage. So, um, it was pretty simple. And I guess you also needed these uh, these these key cards, or keys, I should say, to get through certain doors to explore other areas of the levels yeah so like you know sometimes there's a little bit of backtracking i guess you could say because you had to go through the door all the way to the right of the level to get the key that unlocks the door all the way to the left of the level but again like the the levels weren't even that far it, it took like 20 maybe 30 seconds to go from one side of the level to the other side so it's not like it's not like um 
I don't know, whatever type game where it just, you know, it, it takes like a few minutes to get back, like from one side of the level to the other. Yeah, no, that it, it's true. It's just like, I don't know, man. It was just some, something about it that just didn't, it didn't click with me. I didn't really like get too invested in the, in the gameplay. Mm. I thought it was like other ninja type games I've played, I think had better metro- controls and mechanics. Right. But um we pretty much covered the gameplay. What did you think about the the music? Um you know honestly I don't really remember what the music was like. I think um I think I was playing it with the music off recently. So um <laughs> <laughs> Just just a side note for the viewers. Monkey Man wants a music category but doesn't listen to any of the music in any of the games he plays. Like <laughs> That, genius move actually that's <laughs> that's actually pretty true i gotta start paying attention now thanks for the wake-up call <laughs> All right. well luckily for you i don't remember a single song from this game it wasn't really and then that was too um that standed out too much yeah okay well so what'd you think about the weapons um i mean he did have some cool ab- abilities uh you know he had the this at first it took me a while to figure out that he can actually use a sword because at first it's like, mm. oh, all he do- all he does is throw the sh- uh, shurikens. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm like that's it. And then I hit the uh, the right the right bumper, and he was able to use a uh, the sword, mm-hmm. and it was like on fire, which that was that was kind of cool. Uh, and then you know I guess the grappling hook wasn't really a weapon, but it it was you can kind of like swing around on the thing and then jump off, lead into an attack. Yeah, and then, um, so, you know, like, you could upgrade um, your throwing star if you uh, collect, I think it was, like, lightning bolts or something. There is, like, three levels of the the star, and um, stage one is, like, just a regular single star. I think stage two was, like, three stars that you throw at, or, at once that are on fire. And then stage three is, like, again, a single star with, like, some plasma or something onto it. It's just, like... You uh, does extra damage. So when you have to try to kill the enemies that hold the hostages, instead of hitting them three times, if you have the completely leveled up star, you only had to hit them once with it, and it's good. It will kill them. Right. Like, the stars were pretty, for what they were, they were pretty pretty powerful. Yeah. Now... Like- I didn't find myself throwing, like, ten stars to kill an enemy, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then, so did you know about, like, the um, the special power that you could do? I guess, yeah, like, when your meter's full, right? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's, like, something you would see in a uh, beat-em-up game when you have, like, a... a or a shoot 'em up when the meter's full and you do, like, a full screen clear attack and it kills everybody at once. Right, right. So how far did you get into the game? I maybe got like four or five levels into the game. Did you uh, fight bosses? Which bosses did you fight? I I don't recall fighting any bosses, so maybe I didn't get as far as I think. Oh, okay, man. Because I was I beat the game in the past. I'm pretty sure, um, probably about a year ago or something. But man, there's like I think it's the second boss. There's this guy, and he rides on a giant frog. And man, I got to show you some of my gameplay. If you haven't gotten up to it, I'll just uh, take some photos with my phone or something. But man, like it's pretty difficult. So he's like, the frog is huge and he'll jump. Um, Obviously, if the frog touches you, it will take away some of your health. And the frog spits out fireballs. And then, yeah. And then there's like uh, an evil type enemy ninja, whatever, like on his back with a sword who will like, jump off and spin and keep spinning and spinning and spinning and like you know he'll he'll try to jump into you which would hurt you as well and he'll try to attack you with the sword and that one was pretty difficult now how long would you say the the game actually was i think the game's relatively short i think it's only like a three hour gameplay if you know what you're doing and you go like a straight through run Right now, uh, since you finished the game, like, does the objectives change at all? Because I, you know, like earlier, you rescue the hostages. Is there like, or that's basically the whole game? 
Um, I think that's it, but it's been a while since I actually beat the whole game. This time I stopped at um, the frog because I was having a lot of difficulty with it. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the gameplay changed too much, I guess, besides, you know, level design, you know, I guess boss fights, mm. uh, new music. Yeah, I'm looking it up right now, and it's saying that, yeah, the total length um, of the main story is three hours, plus the sides is three and a half hours, and completionist run is five hours. I mentioned earlier that I wasn't um, too fond of the graphics. What did you think of the graphics? I mean, I, I thought it was fine. Like, I I don't know. It, it didn't bother me the way that the graphics were. I, I just feel like it was just like an older Game Boy Advance game. And I, I suppose for GBA, it was relatively low graphics. But I think I just really enjoyed the gameplay on this one. This is more of my style of game. So I think because of that, like, I was just focused on that aspect more than anything. Like, to me, like, the game looked, like, a little bit better than, like, an 8-bit game. I mean, obviously, it's still 16-bit, but mm. it, it looked, like, in between an 8-bit and a 16-bit game. Almost like, like, Legacy of Goku, I think, graphically looked looked better than this game. A lot better, yeah. You know, like, even, like, the Super Mario games that were ported to the uh, GBA look a lot better than Ninja 5 Yeah. Uh, even a lot of Super Nintendo games that were ported to GBA look a lot better than Ninja 5 So, um, w- what do you think they could have done that would have made you like this game? So, like, it, you did mention that, like, you kind of don't like the style of game where it's, like, not just from A to B, which makes sense. But, like, you know, if they had, like, the music you don't remember because it was, like, whatever type music. But, like, if it had banging music and really cool graphics, like would you enjoy it then or like would you need more than that like what would you need to turn this into it's really like when it comes down to the the gameplay um for like at least that type of game like a side scroller that's not like a metroidvania you know just a simple action game i just like going from point a to point b fight some enemies and i don't have to deviate to go, oh, you can't exit the level because you didn't do the objective, you know? Okay, so those you think those three things, if the music, the graphics, and then the side missions were changed where you could just go from A to B, you think, like, you would enjoy like, the it, game? Yeah, but, you know, it, it's, it's weird because, like, as you'll see with, like, future games we may talk about, I'm going to sound like a hypocrite because there are some uh, platformers that do have some objectives that you you must do like um i'm gonna talk about the original the first the first gex game right Uh, Mm -hmm. you haven't played it but it's actually a really good game um with 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 that game yeah it's it's basically a point a to point b game but you cannot actually leave the level until you get the the level remote Mm -hmm. so you can access the next stage so that that was fine but the gameplay for me was like really fun, so I didn't I didn't care. But with Ninja Five O, um, I mean the the game the, to me I just thought the gameplay was just oh okay, you know it was nothing like nothing. It wasn't like gripping me. It wasn't like didn't have me invested. Where like oh man, I gotta like I gotta I gotta keep playing this because it's, <laughs> it's so it's so good, you know. It's <laughs> okay. So y- you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah. So do you, so do you think? It, it, if if these things were changed, you'd change it from Ninja Five No to Ninja Five Okay. Well, <laughs> I might <laughs> if maybe to change all those things. I could say yo, it's Ninja Five. <laughs> yo, yo, this game slaps, man. And I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you know, you you are asking for quite a lot of changes. Not that you're asking well, for. Yeah, I, I, I'm more point, asked it you. Becomes, yeah, it's just a new game. It becomes at that an point. entirely different game. Right, like, right. It's not Ninja Five O anymore. So. Right, right. Yeah. And, it's just, you know, Ninja 5 just wasn't for me, you know? Yeah, I hear you. And, and you know, again, so, like, this game, it, it reminds me of, like, Little Nemo a little bit where, you know, you had to collect the keys, find the keys, and collect the keys. And I loved Little Nemo for so many reasons. Um, but I did like See, the gameplay. With and, Little Nemo, because it basically has those same elements yeah. of Ninja 5 but yeah. at least with the first level of Little Nemo, I thought the gameplay was fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the the level theme, like the giant mushrooms, and yeah, it had an amazing uh, uh, level theme. Mm-hmm. 
And then, like, the second level, it just all fell apart for me. Yeah. But with Ninja 5.0, I didn't, from from the jump, it just didn't it didn't grab me. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It, it is pretty bland, and it's kind of like this, I don't know, it like, kind of like a city scene, I guess. It's not like, you know, again, like you were saying with the mushroom trees and stuff in Little Nemo, it was like a magical dreamland, right? It, slumberland. It was so cool. Yeah. Um, and then it also, um, this game reminds me kind of of, like, Goblin Sword, which I know you you didn't really like that one, or like Apple uh, I mean, Apple Gate, okay. Apple I, Knight. I, I didn't hate it. Yeah, yeah, but same thing. But so like these are games that I love. So it's like yeah. But you see, but also like these games, they're pretty similar. Okay, not Ninja Five O, but like Goblin Sword is pretty similar to me um, to Cheeky Cheeky Boys, which I know is one of your favorites. How how would you say that's similar, uh, Cheeky Cheeky Boys and Goblin Sword? Um. Hmm. Anyway, so, (laughs) no, I mean, 2D side-scroller platformer, right? Um, You both have a weapon that you're swinging, you're hitting enemies, you're collecting stuff along the way, and you complete the level. I I mean, they're they're similar, you know. I got you. I I like the graphics in both of them, you know, I mean, except with Goblin Sword, you could upgrade the weapons and, and your magical powers and your rings and stuff, which I think is infinitely cooler. Um, but not bashing uh, cheeky cheeky boys at all. I, I really enjoyed that. That one. It was a great game. Yeah, yeah. All right. So final thoughts. Yeah, I, I I probably won't return to this game ever again. That's that's my final thoughts. Would you refer to anyone else to play? Um, I mean, it's a well made game, so it's not like it's a broken game. It's not like it's uh, buggy or anything. It's just. Uh, didn't suit my my taste but you know i guess for people who do like ninja type games and 2d platformers and action games i i I could still tell somebody hey check it out i wasn't a fan of it but you you might enjoy it and i i believe this game is overall overall pretty pretty well received so i think i'm just um a rare case of someone who didn't enjoy the game If you enjoyed this episode of Mode 7, give it a like and comment below your thoughts on today's topic. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when the next Surge My Next video drops. Have a good day and peace out.